My name is Kathy McCarthy and I'm the Director of Advanced Nuclear Energy Systems Integration at the Idaho National Laboratory. And the Global Nuclear Energy Partnership is a new Department of Energy initiative, actually a presidential level initiative, and the, the overriding goal of the Global Nuclear Energy Partnership is to expand nuclear energy. And it's looking at things from a global point of view. How do you make nuclear energy available to smaller countries that might not want to have or might want not be able to afford the infrastructure of the entire fuel cycle? And how do you provide them that opportunity, basically, in addition to providing the opportunity to expand nuclear energy in industrialized countries? In, in terms of hydrogen production, the, the major focus for the very high temperature reactor is hydrogen production because there you're getting higher outlet temperatures, which means more efficient production of hydrogen. The other reactors can also be used for hydrogen production. Uh, for example, if you use what's called high temperature electrolysis, and that's very similar to, to your, your um, high school and college chemistry class where you put electrodes in water and electrolysis happened, well, you can take some of the energy needed to make that, react, that dissociation occur, you can use heat. And so that heat could come from a conventional reactor, for example. Our current light water reactors, you can take some of that process heat and make the process more efficient than just normal electrolysis. So the, the higher the temperature, uh, the, the more heat that you put in, then the more efficient the process is. But you pay for that somewhat because these reactors that uh, allow you to get higher outlet temperatures, it's more of a challenge in terms of materials. So what you have to do is look at the, look at the balance and the trade-offs. Um, we, we're not to the point yet where we can say what's better. We believe that going to this very high temperature reactor overall is the right thing to do. We need to look closely at the economics. The, the advanced test reactor is really the premier test reactor in the world. It, it is built extremely flexibly. It has a lot of test space and you could do what's called accelerated testing. So while in a reactor it might take um, a year to get a specific fluence, which is basically how many neutrons get on the material, you can do that in a shorter period of time and so you can do your testing in a shorter period of time. So the advanced test reactor is really a workhorse for the Gen 4 program and for the GNEP program because before you can deploy a new reactor you need to basically prove to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission that this thing will operate safely and within the, the envelope that you've said that it will. And you have to do both fuels tests and materials tests. And we are, for example, using the advanced test reactor as the, the place where we're testing the fuels for the very high temperature reactor, which, which is the reactor with the focus on hydrogen. So uh, the, the ATR is extremely important in that, and, and it will continue to be so as nuclear energy expands and we start to look at deploying more of these reactors.